Hello, today we're going to install on your scooter a little USB charger for your cell phone. And in this video, I will show you how. Ah. Hello, how are you doing today? In this video, we're going to place a little charger for your phone. This one is a fantastic thing. I love it because my phone is always ran out of uh, charge battery and it's always low so with this one I can place my cell phone right here a connector and the charge is not gonna go away okay plus I can put a GPS on the scooter I can hook it up the gloves the hidden gloves for the scooter uh, for you know for the winter not really for me that I'm in Florida but up north that this is a great thing okay so my idea is to place it on the scooter right here okay right underneath the, the handlebar okay so there is a piece of plastic and there is a room right there that you can place this charger now if you see this charger has a little on and off switch right here but personally i really don't trust this so i will you know connect this one in the way that when i turn the injection key is going to be off because if you leave this one on is going to discharge your battery at that point you're going to have a big problem so so this one is a great day it's got it on and off and i can switch on and off if i want it when the scooter is on you know you can put it directly to the battery if you want to but if one time you're going to forget this one on your battery is going to be dead so on the back side you have a plus and negative right here so you have a connection the back side of this uh, of this charger so this one is perfect okay so this one is a DC charger and uh, it's got two connections and in the center part it will give you the voltage of the scooter okay so this one is a perfect thing okay so to install it is really easy it comes with a connection that you put it right here it even has a fuse so if something goes wrong with that the fuse goes off and at that point um, you're going to be safe you're not going to catch on fire because sometimes electricity is a little tricky okay so we have to be careful okay so this one is fantastic so let's try to hook up the system right now so you can charge your phone at any time okay my idea is to place the right here the usb charger right on the center of your scooter okay on the right side you have the key and on the left side I have a voltage meter right here that is always great this one I have another video that I put this voltage meter on and this one is great because it lets you know when the scooter has some electrical problem or the scooter is not producing enough electricity okay so now we're going to place this USB charger right here on the center this one also has a little mm, you know, voltage meter right here so it's going to let you know what kind of electricity you're running okay so this one is very useful too okay to put this one right here you're going to need like a you know a driller and a large drill bit to make a hole right here now I'm using a one inch drill bit this one that are made of wood but this one is a really soft plastic so you can use this one here too or you can use a really large uh, drill bit and then you with a you know exacto knife you're gonna make a perfect hole okay but this one is just great so you're going to do the driller and you're gonna find the center point right here and you're going to drill a hole okay okay this uh, charger comes with a little nut in the back like a little large washer or I can call it a large washer or nut so you just unscrew it okay so you make sure this one it's gonna be able to go inside but it's, this one is great because uh, also as a cover so it's like uh, waterproof and in just in case of rain this one is not going to get wet so place it right here you're just gonna need the driller okay and what you're gonna do you're gonna find the center okay center of this part right here Make sure you're going to be gentle because these parts are made of plastic so 
if you damage them too much uh, you're gonna have a lot of problems so you have to change the whole part but you know see it's really easy to to you know make a hole in this plastic because <laughs> uh, the quality is not there you know but you know that's okay yeah I, I like the way the scooters are made because uh, <sighs> I like, I'm comfortable with these scooters, okay? So when I'm sitting down, I'm really comfortable. The other one, I'm not sure if I'm really comfortable. So I'm not even spending money for other scooter. This scooter has a little more comfortable seating way to ride, okay? So, okay. Right here, you just make sure that it goes in, you know, easily. If it doesn't go in, you can keep enlarging the hole. Don't worry, back here, there is not really much, you know, there is nothing. Uh, don't make a really big hole just make you know a hole that is you know just perfect for this you know but don't make it too big okay you can use a little exacto knife right here so you can clean it and you make it sure it looks good okay so make sure that looks good and make sure that you know it's nice and tight you don't want to make a hole too big okay see this one has to be kind of forcing to go in okay now at this point make sure it's nice and straight that looks okay you know and uh, make sure that looks okay right here now at this point uh, what we have to do we have to open the front part of your scooter to put the large nut that is back there this right here and it's not going to move this part right here is not going to move now you want to make it nice and tight before you do that make sure that you straight this thing up make sure you know that looks good okay now this right here is an empty part so you have a lot of space behind here if you go down here on the lower part uh, there is the frame so you cannot put this part right here now if you don't have the little voltage meter on the left side you can use this part right here to place a little you know usb charger and this one has both this one has the voltage meter in the center and it's got a charger right here you know the right on top on the bottom okay at this point we have to open the front part of the scooter to open the front part of the scooter you have two screws right here and you have two screws run the right underneath the nose of your scooter okay we're going to remove the front part of the scooter right here and you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver right here so you can have one screw right here one screw right here one and then we go in the front of your scooter you're going to have two screw underneath the nose of your scooter right here you have to screw right underneath the nose make sure to be gentle with your scooter make sure you're gentle with the plastic of your scooter because sometimes this plastic can break okay okay right after you remove the two screw you're going to be able to remove this part right here make sure you wiggle it out you don't don't pull it too hard because uh, has a little fits right here the little part right here that can break easily okay so make sure you put it on the side away from you away from the scooter so you're not going to step on it okay okay right after you open the front part of your scooter you can see your light you can see a lot of connections you can see the inside of the scooter and plus you can see your usb charger that is right there okay on that side now the usb charger comes with uh, a wire that's fantastic and it comes with uh, the fuse that's the most important thing okay now you need to put the washer or the large nuts that is coming with the with the with the usb charger okay so you have to enter inside there and place that you know Thing and try to you know screw it in make it a little tight okay you don't want this uh, this little USB fine anywhere okay especially when you're riding the scooter it's not safe to have things that are not really tight okay so at this point you can see right there the USB charger 
Now the best thing you can do at this moment because you have to place the cables, uh, okay? So just pull out the USB charger, okay? Because uh, I want to show you where is all the connection. The, there is one side is a little more on the goldish side and there is the one side that is uh, a little more on the silver side. Now the silver side is the plus connection right here. Okay? Now, right here. So the silver side is the positive side. Okay? So make sure that you cover right here the connection. Okay? Now, the part that is uh, minus, is negative right here, is the part uh, that is a little more goldish, okay? So, this one you put this one in there. Now, at this point, it's going to be easier to pass the cable and just go inside the hole, okay? So, pass the cable inside the hole. And you grab the cable and you pull it towards you, okay? At this point, uh, you can place the USB charger again on the location, okay? Make sure the USB charger is nice and, you know, tuck in. You know, you have to push it in pretty good. Now at this point, you can place this washer right here. And you can go there with the washer so you can be able to tie this washer, okay? Now if you don't feel comfortable, you can always put a little, you know, dab of uh, uh, crazy glue, you know, so so this one is not going to move. You don't want to have nothing moving around you when you're riding the scooter. Nothing has to distract you. Unfortunately, the part right here is kind of tight to put the, to put the nut, so you have to squeeze your hand to go inside there, so. So you have to make sure that the nut, the large nut that comes with the USB charger is nice and tight, okay? So, plus you wanna make sure that the charger is nice and straight in the side of the driver's side, okay? So, okay, at this point, after you make sure it's nice and tight, you have the cables coming out from here, and you have one cable that is red one and one cable that is black, okay? These two cables, one comes with the, the fuse right here and that is fantastic. Okay, right after you have the cable, right here, the million dollar question is here. Where are you going to connect these two wires? Okay, let's start from the black one. The black one, I will connect it right here. Where is, the, where is the ground of your light, okay, the headlight? So you just unscrew the bolt that is a 10 millimeter, you need a 10 millimeter socket. You just unscrew it. You screw it all the way. So you're gonna have a little more room and you're just gonna pull a little bit the, the light, but not much, cause don't pull it too much. If you pull it too much, you're going to break. Now make sure that this screw right here is going to fit on this one, okay? On the shape, round shape loop of the connection, okay? So you wanna make sure. So right after you do that, you just make sure, pass the cable underneath the light right here, okay? And pass the cable on the other side. Now keep the red wire going left, okay? So, kind of like you spread them out a little bit. Don't rush yourself, make sure you are patient, take your time. There is no rush to do any job around plastic, okay? So, I'm going to put the screw, and you're going to place the cable, okay? The little wire. And then you're going to screw this bolt right here, the nut right here, back in. So right here you're gonna have an okay ground, you know, pretty good for your USB right here, okay? Now make sure uh, 
that this screw right here is nice and tight. You know, don't want to, to have your headlight wobble, you know, vibrating. Now, at this point, we have the other cable right here. This cable, you have to find the connection right here. That is the one that is coming from your ignition key, okay? This is right here. Your ignition key is right here on the left side. Has a cable with a connector that comes sometime behind this headlight, so you will have to move the headlight, or sometime this one is right on top. If you're right on top, you're really lucky, okay? This one is the connector. Okay, so what you really need to do, you need to find not the red one, but the black cable, okay? That's what you really want, because when you turn the key or the scooter, this black cable right here is going to give you a 12 volt. This cable right here, the black one, that's the one you really want. Now, don't choose the black and white. Has to be the black one, okay? That's the one you want. So when you turn the key, what is going to happen, the, your USB charger is going to be turned on. When you turn off the key for your, from your ignition, at that point, uh, this one will not have any electricity, okay? So that's the one you have to hook up the red cable that you have coming from your USB charger, okay? Now how to connect this one? You should disconnect this part right here, get this one out, and then you can connect it. You can make a lot of fancy connection if you want to, okay? If you're a good electrician, make a fancy connection, make a good one, okay? Because you want to make sure everything is working perfectly. So at this point, you're just going to disconnect this, uh, this connector right here, like that, okay? So I can see all the lines, okay? The one that you really want uh, is the black line, okay? That will be right here. That will be right here, okay? Now I'm going to push this one back, you know, if I can. And I will connect that one. But this one has a little flap in the center of the connector. So you need to have a really small screwdriver to push this part back, okay? So with a little really small screwdriver or something like this, you can push that part back, okay? See if I can, okay? And I think I really need a big small screwdriver to push this part back. Okay, let's push this part back right here. What you're going to need is the black cable, if you look, okay? So, use a little small screwdriver, okay, to push the flap inside and pull the black cable out, okay? So, that's it. That's all you need, see? It's coming out. That's what you need. This, this one right here, that's all you need right here. Now, you can switch this one or you just uh, wrap it up with this one. You can wrap it with this uh, red, you know, red right here line. You can put it right here. You can open this one and put this one here, okay? Or you can put a little bit of black tape and put it right here. You know, anyway, try to make a nice connection. You wanna have a good connection with your USB charge, okay? At this point, you can, you can cut the red line right here and you can make a connection with this one, okay? So remember, it's the black cable that you're going to need. Now you can make the little, you can make it like a loop or something right here to make sure it's gonna stay, or you can make a fancy connection, you know, just Right now I make it like it, like something not, something that's gonna last a little bit, but it's not gonna last forever, but you know, I don't wanna damage the connection or nothing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make like a connection that's just gonna be okay for now, okay? Something that's gonna be okay for now. I'm gonna put a piece of uh, like a electrical tape to make sure that this one is not going to go anywhere, okay? You want to make sure that your connection they're a little bit safe okay 
Yum. Make sure that your electricity the screw is off. If you like, you can turn off the battery. You disconnect the, the, the red wire, you know, from the battery. So you don't have any, you know, sparks or nothing happen. Because sometimes if you do the wrong things, you know, sometimes your one of the fuse can burn out. So if it burns out, at that point, you have to change another the fuse. That's another problem that you don't really need to have, okay? So make sure you put this in the position that it was before, okay? You want this one to be nice, tight and safe, okay? That's very important. And now, it has to go back where it was before, in the same position and same location. Be careful, be careful because there is a little flap underneath. That flap needs to be above the little plastic. So this one, it will not go anywhere. Now, right after that you're done with this one, you can place this one back in its position. Okay? Make sure you squeeze the connection. You know, make sure the connection is safe and squeeze. Because sometimes, if you don't squeeze the connection too much, this part right here can be a little release when you are driving the scooter, because you you bump a hole or something on the street, and this one will not make a contact, so you will not turn your scooter on. Okay, so or your scooter will die. Okay, because this one it goes off, your electricity will shut down. Okay, a little thing before I forget, if you like this video, please click like on the button, subscribe to this channel at any time, and if you have any question, please ask to me. If I know that question, I would love to help you, okay? So, right after you install this USB charger, you don't really want to close the front part of your, the nose of your scooter, okay? Because uh, you really want to test this USB charger before you close everything, because if you close everything, then this doesn't work. You have to check if there's something wrong, if you did something wrong. So remember, I installed this USB charger that you have turned on the key, and then you have to push the on and off button of the USB charger. That's how I like it. You know, you can go also directly to your battery, but if you go to the battery and one time you're gonna forget this one, you're going to discharge your battery overnight. So that's not nice. So look, turn the key, you open this one, and there is a little start button, there is a little on and off button right here. Right here on the right side, you're gonna see an on and off button right here. You just push it, and it's cool because it really tells you, you know, the voltage of your battery too. So kind of give you an idea of what you have in your battery, you know, what kind of power. So it's great to have that. So if something goes wrong with your battery or your charging system, you're going to know that from here. If your C number lower than nine volts, you have a problem on your scooter, okay? So if you have a problem, that's not a really good thing, okay? You really want to have a healthy scooter with a voltage coming to your scooter at 12 volts, 0.5, 12.5 and above, okay? Nothing lower than nine, okay? Okay, right after you test your USB charger, you're able to put back the nose of your scooter, close everything up and you can go ride and you can charge your phone at the same time. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Please be safe. If you have any question, please contact me at any time, okay? I will be very happy to help you. And uh, subscribe to my channel and click that like button, please. Thank you very much, have a great day.